Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over a little gin coin mining and we'll uh, see what my rigs did over the weekend. Be back in a bit. Hey guys, real quick, I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays. Um, it's real simple. Every Friday I give away Bitcoin. So what you're going to want to do is subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell below. So when the Enter to Win video comes out, you'll be notified. It's as simple as that. All right, so let's get into a little gin coin and then also what my rigs did um, over the weekend. All right, so gin coin, what is it? Let's head over to their site right here. Um, Gincoin is the turnkey masternode coin. Uh, Gincoin aims to provide cryptocurrency investors with an easy way of creating and deploying their own masternodes, regardless of their technical abilities. Gincoin masternodes and masternodes for other blockchains will be deployable in a couple of clicks or less. Our ultimate goal is to democratize the way master masternodes are created and, as an effect, Prove crypto is here to stay by making it more easier, by making it more user friendly than paper money. All right, so basically it's just a masternode coin. Um, click on the roadmap here, and I've already pretty much fulfilled three of them. Uh, one click gin coin masternode setup that's already, uh, already done. Uh, deploy any gin coin masternode easily and without delving deep into the code. Um, masternode setup and administration user interface that's already done exactly what it says on the box the market is mature enough to stop relying on console whiz kids and savvy developers one kick one click third party blockchain masternode setup that's already done the beauty of what we're building is that it can be extended to any other coin as well making masternode investments a lot simpler and the fourth one, the one I'm interested in, shared master nodes. If you've looked at the, a couple of my other videos, I have a couple of seats on a Moondex shared master node. Um, this is going to be awesome, but we won't tell you that and tell you more about it just yet. Just keep your eyes out, basically, on their Reddit and Discord. All right, so how do you mine GenCoin? So there's a bunch of different pools. I'm on Angry Pool right now, but I heard of another one. Uh, I may be switching, but for the time being, uh, I'm on Angry Pool right now. So here's GenCoin. All you got to do is click on GenCoin. Um, these are the three uh, miners. If you got an NVIDIA, click on that link. AMD, click this link. CPU, click that link. I have NVIDIA and CPU. So if you click that uh, NVIDIA link, it will take you over to... Um, right here and there's the miner right there you'll need uh, 7 zip to open that folder just uh, just let you know you just download that right there and I'll show you what it looks like in a sec uh, if you have a CPU that you can mine with is another reason I like um, the gen coin you can click that and that will take you over to here CPU miner dash opt 3.8.8 uh, 3.8.8.1 so you click those and lastly or firstly you're going to need a wallet so you click on the gin coins main site click on wallet i have windows you would download click windows there and it would download and then you would install the wallet. It's pretty straightforward so here's my nvidia rig right here this is where i'm running um gin coin so Click this. This is what the wallet looks like. Pretty straightforward. Looks just like Moondex, uh, Ravencoin. A lot of them are pretty similar wallets. Um, so first thing, let's create a notepad file. And I'll show you what you're going to want to do. I've already done all this, but I'll just go through it real quick. Need all that. All right, so click on here, receiving addresses. You 
going to need your unique address right there. You would click, and we'll, we'll go over to here first and get the actual URL. So here's Angry Pool. For the NVIDIA card, you would just take this whole address. This is in my case. If you had an AMD card, you would copy that address. Control C, you would copy that. And you would just paste it all in there. There it is. So now, let's pull up the NVIDIA rig. And like I said earlier, we want to click that. We want to copy that address. Pull our notepad file up again where it says wallet address. You just paste that in. And leave all the rest of it. It's already got the pool. If you're going angry pool, if you want to switch pools, the only thing you would have to change is the actual pool name and the port number. So if you were using like um, subscriber pools, a newer one I, you know, saw just a little bit ago you could put that address in there and the actual port number and that's all you would have to change on this everything else is the same so let's x out of that minus that let me pull up the actual wallet where i have the miners i have all the miners that i use on my desktop and just a little folder called miners so when you download your um, CC miner, which is right here, and then you unzip it. It's going to come to a folder right here, CC miner 2.3. So here's your whole folder and all of its contents. Um, you're going to create a bat file. So this uh, notepad right here would be your bat file. So all you would have to do now is within this folder you're going to save this notepad and you would just go click save as you would find that um, well you would basically save it right in here so I could do this real quick save as let's just put it in this folder for the time being and you would put whatever whatever coin it is, you could put like gin coin space, uh, say your angry pool, or you could do subscriber, depending on whatever pool you are, subscriber, can I type, dot B-A-T, and that dot P-A-T is going to tell you that's a batch file for the computer. So now it's gin coin subscriber pool dot bat. So right in here, let me actual stop the miner here real quick and I'll show you so I stopped the miner all the only thing you do now is to start the miner here's my here's my bat file I saved earlier for uh, when I set it up the other day gin coin angry pool this is a batch file so you just click double click on it and the miner will pull up and start running uh, it's really as simple as that CPU miner is the same exact thing. You go here, download this zip, unzip it. You're going to go to, in my case, the miners folder. And right here, it's going to be CPU miner OPT 3.8.8.1. Double click on that. And right in here, you can see again, GenCoin CPU angry pool. That's another bat file that looks just like this. All you're going to do is paste in your um, your address. If you want to name your rig, you can click dot, like in my case would be in NVIDIA rig. Then you would click save. That's optional. You don't have to do it. That's all you got to edit in this file. That's it right there. All right, so I can actually show you guys real quick the actual angry pool. Um, CPU miner, what I got right here. So there it is, CPU miner, uh, Lyra 2Z. There's the pool. There's my address. And that's a straightforward, same as you would set up your GPU miner. 
And like I said, you double click on it, you double click on that bat file and it'll start running. So here we are, we got 17, 18, we got 22 so far accepted. We're at 4,000 kilohash. And let's see what my other one is at. My CPU miner is at 584, 596 kilohash. So just to know that you're connected and you're up and running and you've um, done everything right, you would go back over to your pool, in my case, which is Angry Pool, click on Wallet. You would put your wallet address in, which I've already got right here. And you would scroll down, and there's my hash rate right there. 4.8 mega hash just goes up and down a little bit. But that's been pretty steady, and you anywhere between four and six, not much, but it's all right. So this is what I've total earned so far: two dollars seventy-nine cents for the gin coin, or 0.254, which I have on my handy dandy spreadsheet right here. And it really is as simple as that, guys. Just get your wallet, get your miners. Edit that one little piece of a, uh, create your notepad, your bat file, you copy the code, which you get from, you just click the coin right here in, in Angry Fool's case, and it, it's already got it set up right there. You just copy this right out, change the wallet address. That's it. CPU miner, copy this out, change the wallet address, save it in your miners folder, in my case. On your uh, your desktop and um, save it as a .bat file. Once it's saved, double click on it. We'll start running. And uh, to know, like I said, to know it's running, you'll just click on Wallet, and um, you would have to paste your actual wallet address in there. But since I've you know the site's got cookies, it's already saved. See, I could go down here. There's my wallet. And if you had another dip, another wallet, you could just submit it right there, and it would pull it up. But it's really straightforward, easy as that. Make sure you check your hash rate. Make sure the pool sees your miners, and you're good to go. So, like, I'm up to six mega hash right now. And these are your payouts right here. A lot of these pools are real similar. You know, not not too big of a change between some of these pools. Um. <clears throat> That's about it. The other one I was looking to get into, it's new, and it's for YouTube subscribers. It's subs um, here's a new one I was talking about, Subscriber Pool. They also have Gin Coin right here. That's only got four miners, but I was thinking about switching over to this. And just like a community-driven pool put out by the technicals. I watched his video. He's got a good, good channel. Um, so that's that with Gin Coin, guys. Um, so let's go over what I did last week, or over the weekend. 0.25 gin coin to date. That's only in about a day and a half I've been mining it. Um, did a little bit of uh, electronium before that. Um, mining Ethereum, converting into Bitcoin. This is the total so far, 1373. Giving me a total of 1649 so far for this week. Uh, good thing the market is up. So, sitting at $409 total value mine so far. Um, what is that? $58 for up, which is good. Bitcoin sitting right around $65.5. All in all, it's been good so far this week. Gen coins at $11, $11 a coin. I don't know how many, how long I'm going to mine Gen coin. Only thing that really got me interested in it because it's got master nodes. And that's kind of what I've been getting into lately is uh, master notes. But anyways, this is where I'm at so far. Um, at least for back up over $400 total value mine as opposed to last week, $351. Uh, you guys got any questions or comments, just put them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, like I said earlier, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell icon below to be notifi notified of future videos. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.